and the outside run defense is phenomenal. I mean, it looks like I ran commit. I didn't run commit, but it looks like I ran commit on this play. And for some reason, we get two free guys in. Both of the cornerbacks get in free. Uh, you know, two of the best linemen in Quinn Nelson and Ryan Kelly. These guys here are probably the two best linemen on the team, and they end the play blocking nobody. But like I said, this is just a super glitchy blitz. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable butt coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. What? Welcome back, Money Team. This is Matt Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got a new defense for you guys today. This defense I just recently found, and I gotta be honest with you, this defense is so good that it might give me to change my playbook entirely. Now, the formation is the Dollar Sugar 3-2. I'm in the Titans playbook right now. This was when I put on my top five defensive playbooks. I'm pretty sure the Titans was on it. Uh, it was one of the, you know, it's one of the better playbooks. All the playbooks that come from uh, the Belichick tree are typically the best because they typically have uh, a good uh, amount amount of defensive formations i'm not sure if this is going to be the playbook that i use going forward but there's a very good chance that the titans is my new defensive playbook uh and part of that is because it has a three four a fourth four um it has your three two five wide it has a double a gap i mean it's a really good playbook it has a lot of you know dollar looking formations in the dime uh, but ultimately, it's all about this dollar for me. And this is going to be the formation that I focus on today. One of the best things about it is, number one, you can rock safeties all across the board. You can take these linebackers out. You can actually put linebackers at your defensive end spots, which would really only come in handy if you're planning on, like, dropping them in the zones and stuff like that, which I really won't do in this formation. But ultimately, these are outside linebackers, so you really have a lot of flexibility when it comes to uh, whatever you want to put in there. You can put in defensive ends. You can put in whatever. Uh, and then you get to the, uh, the safeties in the middle. That's probably the most important part what makes this different from your typical dollar which is kind of what this looks like here is the gaps and spacing it doesn't really have any because your linebacker slash safeties are right in the holes you're going to see this is going to be an outstanding run defense so this is the formation i'm going to go ahead and show you guys my setup uh because ultimately this is a four play scheme i'm probably going to show two plays today if you guys want to see more i'll have it on my join now community uh and my patreon uh but if you want to see a full scheme maybe next week a four play Woo! scheme hit the like button let me know in the comment section and i'll do that other than that, the four plays are going to be the cup four drop. This is going to be one of your best pass defenses. It's also going to be your best run defense. The DB Fire 2 is going to be one of the best blitzes and pass defenses. Also a pretty good outside run defense. The cover three sky is one of your best pass defenses. And then the zero blitz is going to be something that I probably use the least. Uh, but ultimately, these are going to be the top three plays. Uh, and I'm going to run them throughout the entire game. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with the cover four drop because this is kind of the base defense. Let's go ahead and let's pick that. On the offensive side, I hadn't really thought about this, but I'm going to go ahead. Uh, I guess I'll pick random. I'm just, I don't know. I want to pick random play entirely, to be honest with you, because this is a base defense. So let's just go random play. Now, as always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsor, AOEH.com. If you guys want to get your Mutt team up and support this channel at the same time, all you have to do is check them out and use discount code MONEY, or you can use discount code EMAIL, which is something that they're currently running a 6% off promotion. So it would make more sense for you. It doesn't really matter to me, honestly, at the end of the day. Uh, but you would get double the normal 3% by using discount code EMAIL. So check them out. Link in the description below. Now, one of the things about this compared to other dollar defenses uh, is you have a tightly packed box. You don't have any gaps. If I could go to the regular dollar from here, I would show you guys that typically the dollar looks something like this, where the linebackers play back, uh, and it basically uh, just creates uh, easy easy gaps for, for run lanes. Now, this particular look, 
is obviously better based off the fact that I have that alignment, uh, you know, basically summed up. And you can make this even better. You can pinch the defensive line, bring these linebackers in. Now you can see we have even less spacing when it comes to these guys. So I would say the best way to set this up as a base defense is just to bring these guys down to basically handle outside run lanes contain uh, and also put the, uh, you know, basically put them on a hard flat. This would pretty much be it. When it comes to setting this defense up, the really only thing that I, I think that makes sense is bringing these safeties down manually, which is going to be helpful when it comes to stopping the run. And then you're basically going to have a really tight packed box like this because for whatever reason, when you typically want to bring the, the safeties down and stuff like that, you can base the line, show blitz, base the line, and, you know, do all kinds of stuff. But it really messes this particular alignment up. As you can see, this linebacker is now, not, or the safety rather, is no longer in the box. So ultimately, uh, it's best to just manually bring these guys forward than use those shifts because it can really make well, what makes this defense so good is these linebackers are in the hole and they'll step out of the hole a lot of times you won't be able to get them back so this is probably the best way to go as far as my run defense goes i typically want to blitz my user like i said i like to pinch the, the defensive line especially and this is going to be the look like i said this is going to be as good as it gets when it comes to run defense i also find that qb containing really helps when it comes to outside run lanes uh but that's something that you know really depends on how if your opponent's running inside or outside so next play we get that play action we get a pass play nothing's really open like i said this is something there's not a lot of routes on the board here uh but you can see i mean this is definitely that's one of the things about the defense number one you get really great coverage because there's so many safeties out there i can press if i really want to i can press but like i said that's something that the cornerbacks are kind of in a bad spot if i do that so it's really best just to bring the safe just walk the safeties down and pinch the defense or pinch the defensive line rather so here we go once again like i said this is just outstanding run defense. Nope. what kind of run defense is that i mean the guy just i didn't even hard flat and he just shot the gap to the outside let's watch the replay but like I said, there's not really a lot of gaps up the middle, and the outside run defense is phenomenal. I mean, it looks like I ran commit. I didn't run commit, but it looks like I ran commit on this play. Let's go ahead and let's go over to the um, to this cornerback. This is the only cornerback that doesn't basically commit to the run uh, because he's the only one with a receiver in front of him. But ultimately, if you watch, everybody else looks like they're run committing. I mean, this guy here drops back because that's essentially his job, but there's no receiver in the area to pull him. So he basically just comes down and reinforces. But like I said, this is going to be one of the best run defenses in the game. As you can see right here, this guy just basically drops right down, even though he was on a curl flat. I didn't even hard flat him. And he basically should have stopped the running back for a two yard loss. Like I said, this run defense is phenomenal. Here we have um, what's probably a running formation. So once again, set up, just pinch the defensive line. That's it. That's all you really have to do. I like to walk these guys down to the line uh, to get them outside contain. And like I said, it's best, in my opinion, for run defense to hard flat and um, QB contain but that's not necessary. The QB contains extra. The hard flat obviously isn't necessary. I would say walking these safeties down those also makes the most sense. I want them down the box because cover four safeties are really good run defenders. The closer down the line of scrimmage, the better. Uh, and you can see right here, I mean, we're basically just getting another pass play. And the corner routes are open, which is something that's going to be typical of this defense, but Carson Wentz just doesn't like to throw the ball. You don't really get a lot of pass rush. That's what the blitzes are for. So for run defensive purposes, just pinch the defensive line. That's all you really have to do. Like I said, I like to keep it contained. I like the hard flat. And I like to bring down, um, you know, the safeties manually. That'd probably be the best thing to do. Maybe bring this guy down. That's really my ideal setup. Uh, and it doesn't really take a lot. I mean, I know I'm doing a lot manually, but it really doesn't take a lot as far as, uh, you know, setting this up. So here, the cornerbacks aren't in a position where they're going to get slaughtered. You can see the safeties fill the hole, and we're just getting a stuff for maybe a, a negative one yard loss. As you can see, I mean, I really didn't expect that to be a run play, but you can see this just takes away all the run lanes. All the run lanes are filled up, and then you have a really good run defense because your safeties, I mean, that's it. That's the setup right there. All, that's all I had to do. So my, my run defense is, is, is good to go. Like I said, I like the hard flat, and I like to uh, keep it contained. That's going to be the highest level of run defense you can create out of this. Uh, and then you can see, I mean, there's, you know, there's little lanes like right there as I, as I, as I close in on that guy. Um, but you can see really good pass defense too. No, the number one pass defense on this to me, I mean, I love cover two. I'm going to say it's the, uh, the DB fire too. So let's go and let's pick that on the offensive side. We're just going to go random pass. Now, as far as this setup goes, it looks, it's going to look a lot like, um, you know, the, the previous setup. I mean, all I have to do is pinch my defense one more time, QB contain, uh, guest pass, and then put my user on a blitz one more time. I have my option of bringing these safeties down, which makes a lot of sense, but ultimately, you know, you don't want to bring this guy in too far away from his responsibility because there is a receiver out there, but you could bring this guy down a lot closer, and then this is pretty much going to be the play. Like I said, I'm going to guest pass. I'm just going to basically, you know, drop back the second the play starts like you do on most blitzes in this game, uh, and then Woo! you can see we get instant pressure off the side there, which is going to be something that you can get against any look any formation so watching the replay 
I mean, it's pretty much going to be the exact same thing. Under center, obviously, is uh, going to be huge. Uh, but the running back is on a pass block. He he does he play actions, which takes him out of position. But he is on a pass block. And for some reason, we get two free guys in. Both of the cornerbacks get him free. You can see, I don't know if it's because I pulled these, these linemen so well, but this is one of the best offensive lines in the game. And I basically just pull, uh, you know, two of the best linemen. And Quinn Nelson and Ryan Kelly, these guys here are probably the two best linemen on the team. And they end the play blocking nobody. So you can see here, this is just something that's going to be um, a really devastating blitz. Think about this play. You don't want to bring the cornerbacks in too close because you don't want them to get detected too soon. So like here, you can move uh, this cornerback out a little bit. And that's going to uh, be helpful. Um, you can also leave these guys out wide. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I'm pinching them in as out of, you know, habit when it comes to the run defense, but I'm Woo! not expecting a run. As you can see right there, I didn't even know what happened. He just got right over the DT, I guess. So as we watch this replay one more time, we actually had three guys get in against five blockers. We're only sending five, and three got in free against five blockers. That's insane. So ultimately, you can see that these um, this cornerback here comes in free off the edge as he never gets touched by anybody. The cornerback on the other side does the exact same thing although fisher does get off he does switch off just in time to basically just get a piece of him but that never would have mattered and then what happened over the middle is we get an instant a gap because ultimately these guys uh, in the interior line are trying to figure out how to switch and block all these guys so the center tries to switch off the 64 i guess he never picks him up i don't know what happened there uh as he basically just lets him walk right through the middle like i said this is just a super glitchy blitz let's go let's do that one more time like i said i like the spacing where these cornerbacks are at i just want them at the line so this guy here which i can't seem to get on here brother's crying he just has to be at the line that's all uh you'll know your opponent will never really know if he's coming in on a blitz or not unless you're running this play too much which at that point uh, i guess wouldn't matter uh but then that's pretty much it then i'm just gonna put this guy i don't have to pinch the defensive line i can just leave him just like this like i said i've been slanting inside to get more success but this is pretty much going to be the look here so ultimately just got to stay on for a second back out in the running back and then boom we're just in the quarterback's ear in a flash now the cover three sky is very similar to what i was doing with the db fire 2 so let's go ahead and let's pick that this is going to be the exact same now if i want to i could send crookshank here because he's already out here based off of the alignment which is probably going to be the best way to go um i would say i mean that's not typically going to be the setup but that's pretty much how i want it and then I'm just going to slant my defensive line outside. That's all I really got to do. It doesn't really matter, though. You could also slant them inside. It's pretty much the exact same setup, except now I'm just basically leaving myself uh, more coverage deep, and I have to do more of the <laughs> middle, as you can see right here, though. We got an instant A gap one more time. As you can see, the, the Simmons comes in just completely unblocked. Here we go one more time. Like I said, this guy here, he just, he, I don't know. Like I said, it's basically because of what I'm doing that the, the interior offensive line constantly is getting messed up. As you can see right here, I mean, he just gets an instant free access to the quarterback and it's all because of 78 reacting to me and 64 reacting to me pre-snap as you can see we just get another super easy uh sack right up the middle so i mean this is pretty much you know real simple just gonna move the, the, the safety out he should be fast enough that it really shouldn't matter move him out wide enough that it looks like he's in coverage and this is pretty much going to be the play as i just got to stay home for a half a second and basically cover we're getting a sack off of uh fairly who i basically just moved out so the only real difference when it comes to this play and the cover two play is um you know i'm basically uh getting more coverage over the middle in cover two where here i'm getting a little bit more coverage deep that's pretty much it so we're going to do this one more time like I said, it'll look like this on a possible run play. I definitely would be in the cover Woo! four, but you can see, boom, we get the guy coming off the edge one more time. That's the safe that I just moved out. Very easy, getting a lot of sacks. So I'm going to end the video there. If you guys want to see more uh, plays out of the Titans or more plays out of a different playbook than the playbook I've been using all year, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you!